Good morning everyone. I am so excited because today I'm getting my vaccine. I've been waiting for this moment um, since everyone in the US started getting their vaccines and slowly but surely life has returned back to normal in the States. Sadly, um, that's not the case in Canada. Vaccine rollout was a little bit slower here, but I'm getting my vaccine today, which I probably should. Oh shoot, did I forget my phone? Oh, oh. Sorry, I had to turn that GPS on because I have to go to this like, little obscure town to get a vaccine because the vaccine center near me was booked until July. <laughs> like I'm not waiting until July to get my vaccine so I am on my way I am super excited to get it I if you don't get like like I said in my get rid of me please don't try to convince me not to get it I mean at this point when you're seeing this I've already gotten it so there's literally no point but I don't tell you what to do to your body so please don't tell me what to do to mine so we can save that conversation I have been stuck on the island that I live. So I don't live on the island of Montreal. I live on an island next to it. And there's a bridge um, that obviously takes you to the island of Montreal. A very, very popular bridge. I think they said like 100,000 people use a day. And on Friday night, that bridge was closed for an emergency. Like it was like falling down. That bridge has been closed all weekend. So I have literally been stuck on this island, which is fine because like I said, I really don't go anywhere. There's nowhere to go. We still have a curfew. Things are still closed. Restaurants are still closed. So there's really nowhere for me to go. And my sister also lives on the same island as me. So I'm really a-okay. The only thing is that to get to my office and my sister's house, I have to go towards the smaller bridge. And you can as you can imagine, the traffic is just chaotic and insane because everyone is trying to get there. If it's not fixed by tomorrow, which it definitely won't be because the bridge was literally bowing apparently. Bowing? I don't know. I have to take the train to work, which is fine. I mean, I took the train to school. Anyways, other than that, my weekend was pretty um, uneventful. I cooked the best lasagna last night ever. Oh darn, I wanted to bring some to my mom. As I'm driving to my vaccine, I wanted to talk about a pre-loved luxury disaster. I buy a lot of my bags pre-loved, but I wanted a very specific bag. I wanted a vintage jumbo bag with like not the classic quilting design. I wanted it to be like, um, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> straight lines I'll put a picture and I wanted it either in regular leather but ideally I wanted it in patent I don't know why I saw a picture on Instagram and I immediately fell in love with this bag I was on this hunt oh I also really like shopping on um, eBay if you guys don't know which you probably don't because this was years ago but I actually went to Japan with my sister they flew her out and my sister brought me to check out the pre-loved luxury markets there and how they go about it we went to an auction we went to behind the scenes of like the biggest pre-loved retailers in japan it was a, a super cool trip it's all vlogged on my sister's channel and she goes into detail about how they authenticate it where they get their bags from it was on the hunt for the bag the only place i could find it is this website called luxury promise and i found it through um claire chanel's YouTube channel she did like a video with them and she was raving about them and so I was like amazing like it was a sign the price was very reasonable so I ordered this bag and I always like do double triple inspection of this bag uh, with the pictures I also double checked that I could return the bag if it so happened I didn't like it and it, the return policy was great so I ordered this bag I have to say ordering it the shipping time um, and everything like I ordered it on a Sunday and I think it arrived on Wednesday and it was coming from London so that was all great 
Now, when I looked at the details of the bag, it said slight signs of wear, but that only makes the bag more beautiful. That's what it said. So I get this bag. I'm expecting like a little scuffing on the corners, a few scratches. No. I get this bag and the whole front is ruined. Keep in mind, it's a patent leather bag and there's huge splotches, I guess, of where they tried to fix it, where it's like bubbly and matte. I'll include pictures. I was just so shocked because when you buy on eBay or when you buy on Fashion File, they show you the signs of wear. Like if there's a scratch on the corner, they show you the scratch. If there's a stain, they show you the stain. And I honestly feel like they were just trying to hide it. Like it it's not a $20 bag like it's a, like thousands of dollars and they just like didn't even in the picture like I inspected these pictures and I saw like a little dark spot on the front but I thought it was just like the glare of how the light was sitting I was just so shocked because it was ruined like the bag was ruined I immediately emailed them I was like hey so sorry about this I don't mean to be a father but I'm really disappointed because none of these things were like marked on the website. I looked up reviews of them and a lot of people said that the customer service wasn't the best, but their customer service for me was great. I emailed two different emails because there was two different things and both two people said different things. One of them sent me a return label and said that they had just gotten a new bag in if I wanted to exchange it. The other person said I could send it back at my own cost. So obviously I went with the person who sent me a return label. They said that they would send someone from DHL to pick it up and I had to stay home all day. No one from DHL ever came so I ended up just dropping it off which is fine. But they never sent me pictures of the bag um, to exchange. I asked like a few times just because I really wanted this bag and I would have loved to exchange it for one that wasn't ruined. But they never got back to me. They kind of like ghosted me <laughs> after that. My overall experience with them, like I don't feel... The only thing I didn't like that they did was not like be more descriptive. Because this wasn't light signs of wear. Like this bag had been... Like it looked like someone ran over it with a car and then tried to fix it. Shit, there was a policeman. He was doing radar. But he did not catch me. Sir, I have to go get my vaccine. Hey, I got it. It was super easy. Didn't hurt at all. Apparently my arm's gonna be sore, but I can handle that. It literally felt like nothing. But I'm also not scared of needles, so I didn't expect it to. Um, okay, I'm gonna go see my mom now. And okay, I'm sorry that this is being filmed on my phone, but I'm in a huge rush and I just wanna film this before I go. I'm just going to do some quick shopping downtown. So this is my quick outfit. I have this top from Zara on. It's like a knit top. It's a little bit cooler today. So I want it to be a little bit warmer. I have some a goldie jeans on and then I have some nudie beige supergas on. My anklets are super cute. I have a snake. I, oh my God. Okay, I don't know what happened to this shoe, but it's so dirty. Isla anklet with a happy face and then our snake anklet. I have our happy face necklace and our snake necklace and two broken nails. You guys know that goes with every outfit. And I have a watch, um, a pearl bracelet on, and that's it. That's what I'm wearing today, quick outfit. I gotta go, I gotta go to the bank. Yeah, I really like that one, but I think the other one like is just so beautiful. This one. Wow, it looks so beautiful on you. Okay, I think I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get this one. This one? Yes. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. And this. You didn't get this one, but it has the brown. Yeah, so, so we, busted both worlds. Yeah. And I feel like the classic music print is like coming back. Yeah, so you saw like we did the rounds and it was like 70% of that collection. So I was debating between these two. And another one you guys saw, this one, but um, I'm gonna go with this one because it also comes with that strap, which I think is super cute. Okay, so I have to say that buying a bag at Gucci was a way better experience than buying it at Chanel, Chanel. Louis Vuitton, anywhere else. She was so nice. Now we're looking at shoes. I used to be obsessed with these. 
these are really cool. They have all these different slides. Okay, so I just finished eating. Don't mind the fan behind me. Um, there's stuff everywhere, okay? We're just gonna <laughs> pretend that I have a nice, beautiful background. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up today. I do a nice little luxury haul. I don't usually do these on my channel, but when I posted it on my story that I was shopping downtown today, you guys wanted a haul. So the reason I went downtown today was for the Gucci store. I saw this bag and fell in love with it. I haven't bought anything Gucci in a really long time. So their new packaging is so cute. Look at that. I'm gonna show you guys the dust bag, but the box matches. By the way, the lady at the Gucci store was so beyond nice. They said they're celebrating 100 years of Gucci. Look at the inside of their box, it's beautiful. But what I really loved was the dust bag. <laughs> so this is what the dust bag looks like. That's like so my vibe. Earthy tones, it looks like earthy textures, earthy colors. Ooh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It also comes in full leather in a few different colors and it also comes with white but I wanted the brown color. What I really liked about this bag is it comes with two straps. This is the mini size, so you can make it like super small and wear it like, wear it like that. Um, but what I really, really particularly enjoyed was this bag also comes with a brown leather strap. So I thought that was just adorable. I also really like the size of it because it is, I love small bags. They do have it in another, size but i like the small bag it went super well with the outfit i was wearing today also i just thought it was so cute for every day very i don't know like um adult bag and then on the inside it has it looks like this i was also looking at this brown um gucci marmont bag which was beautiful but the leather was like a little bit orangey toned and then um i was also looking at this black it had like this gucci print but in a marmont style it was beautiful like so beautiful um so there's all the cards on the inside and this is what the inside looks like i just feel so grown up with this bag it's like my adult bag so you can wear it like that oh, i feel like i'm after, at the end of the day my outfit always looks all crumpled and not the best you can have like a little handle how adorable is that so you can have it like this. So then I went to Louis Vuitton and I wanted a new wallet. So right now I have a little card holder and it's literally like busting out of it seems. And then I also have my keys and I have this one which I got in high school and I love this because if I have receipts or anything, I throw it in. So I was looking for a new card holder today and I went to Louis Vuitton and they didn't have the exact one I wanted, but they had one that was better. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has a little envelope. And then on the back, you have slots for your cards. And then you have a pocket. And in the pocket, you have a place for your keys. So it's like a wallet, card holder, key thing, all in one. Oh, you wanna see my IDs? Okay, so this is my driver's license since I was 15, 16 years old. And I look like I'm literally drugged in my Medicare card. And then I don't know if you guys in America have seen Canadian money. It's colorful and then it also smells like maple. <laughs> when they're new, they smell like maple. Whenever you need to go anywhere, you just have all of your stuff. And then, um, okay, you guys are going to die over the shoes I got. Oof, these are so good, you guys. Okay, they don't look like much right here, but on my on your foot, it looks so good. It's in this like really pretty nude color. It just says Christian Dior. Like I said, and I explained in the beginning of the video, I had a, like a little bit of a horror story, so got my money back for that. Everything I got here was still less than that one bag. In my eyes, basically, this didn't cost me anything. I'm just trying to justify it. I'm not that delusional. Okay, just got changed in a White Fox Boutique um, sweatsuit, the comfiest sweatsuit ever, but I wanted to show you guys the bag as like a little shoulder bag. 
I just thought it was so cute, especially with all the nudes I wear. Also, I thought it would be interesting to see what I can fit in this bag. Why not? Instead of having to show you guys. Yes, I look like an absolute mess. Oh, by the way, I put these shoes on. They are so comfortable. Don't mind um, my fake tan on my feet. I was not supposed to show my feet to anyone. So I have my favorite makeup bag. It is the toiletry pouch, which fits into all small purses. Fits in there like a glove. I'm gonna zip that up. And that has like all of my everything in it. And then I'm going to fit this in here. Keep in mind, I don't um, carry a lot of stuff. I just have my makeup bag, so like my powder, um, a little makeup brush, and my lip combo for the day. That's really all I, all I need. I feel exhausted. I just remembered that I didn't drink any coffee this morning. So I was falling on my face and I was like, why am I so exhausted? Anyways, I'm gonna go um, have a coffee and then I'm gonna edit my video, which I should have started doing hours ago. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this video was kind of random, um, but I got so many DMs asking about what I picked up today, so here it is. Anyways, you guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't speak. I need a coffee. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I love you and I'll see you guys back here next time.